We don't really want to be a part of an industry. We just want to make music. But we have to address these issues all the time because it's hard to uh, not to slip into that kind of thinking. Like for instance, when we released the last album and we toured the US, everyone that talked to us was like, oh, you're here supporting our new, your new album. And we didn't see it that way. But it's very similar to anyone who just sees it as a business. It's, it's not, there's no difference really. It's just how we look at it. It's a dirty business and we've really lived it as well. So we try to be really careful always of not losing track of why we do this. I've tried to trace why I tend to think a lot about politics and I think it's partly because of my family but I think also it's traceable to being a kid and being quite egotistical thinking I was being mistreated all the time <laughs> and then you get like to the real injustices in the world when you stop thinking about yourself. Maybe you have to start there, I, d I don't know. When I was going to write the lyrics, uh, they just came out political every time. There was no real thought about making like a political dance album from the start. It just uh, came out naturally, I guess. Any style of music is good for pushing a political agenda. Stereo Lab is definitely an inspiration. Musically, ly lyrically, ideologically, yeah, and, exactly. and even to some extent aesthetically, not that we have the same aesthetic, but they have a very consistent aesthetic, which is something that we really appreciate. And uh, we try to have our own consistent. Slobodanarodu means uh, freedom to the people. I watched this Swedish documentary from the end of the 60s. This guy was traveling around in, in the former Yugoslavia trying to find old partisan songs uh, that he'd heard of. Finally, he finds this girl who sings a song to him and she ends the song saying Smrt fascismo Slobodanarodu. And I sampled that and used it first in a song we did called Death to Fascism. But then we used it again on the album, and that's kind of a sequel to, to Death to Fascism. We will always be like a pop group first yeah. and uh, our lyrics will hopefully not be about politics forever. We would prefer of course if, if like right-wing people and Nazis didn't come to our shows. <laughs>